are you? I'm good. So what's going to happen next season on Game of Thrones? You can tell us now. <laughs> yes. Still sworn to secrecy. Still sworn to secrecy, yes. Is it just me, or does it feel like the finale was, like, five years ago? It, it feels like five years. We shot it, like, 18 months ago. Yeah, it feels like You forever. shot it a long time ago. We saw it, what, in May, I think it was? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Man, it seems like it's been a long... Yeah. Are people still mentioning it to you everywhere you go? Yes. 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 Yeah. It's, it's, it's quite... I've, I've been traveling quite a bit, and it's, it's still... Do they have questions? Do they want to know? Do they have follow-ups? <laughs> they, 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 <laughs> no, they have, like, this thing. So they look at you, and then they go really close. So, what did you really think about the ending? Oh. <laughs> and then you go, I, well, I thought it was great. Really? <laughs> <laughs> but I did. I thought it was great. Some people were upset that Jamie went back to Cersei. Yes. And, uh, but it did, yeah, it's certainly within reason. I thought it was within reason. It made sense to me. Yeah. But uh, I had this, I was actually, I was, um, I was at the airport. I was, I was flying in from Canada and I was in LAX. And this guy comes up to me, and I'm, I'm getting a coffee and he says, Hey man, you look you look a lot like Jamie Lannister. And I said, Yeah, no, I get that a lot. And then he was kind of waiting for me to go, but I, I didn't. I just had my coffee. Right. And then one of those paparazzi guys came over, you know, when they have the camera and they want right. to catch you say something something stupid. Catch you eat drinking. And he goes, pumpkin spice. So what do you think about the ending? And I said, Oh, oh, you don't want to ask me about that. Yeah, ask this guy. And he and then he just goes to this guy and he's like, well, well I, I think that, that they butchered George R. R. Martin's mission. And I was like, yeah, see you later, guys. <laughs> <laughs> he gave you a bad review in the coffee line. I know. It was amazing. <laughs> People are the worst. They really are. I know. I know. <laughs> so I know you sometimes go to these Game of Thrones fan conventions. Yes. Including Comic-Con yes. you were at. But you were at one that I never heard of before. You, you haven't heard of Bubba Fest? I never heard of Bubba Fest. Where is Bubba Fest? Bubba Fest is in Knoxville, Tennessee. Knoxville, Tennessee. Yes, and it's it's run by a guy called Chris Lewis. And mm -hmm. uh, I went there. I have, I I like these these fan conventions, and I have you this do, idea. Right. I want to do like a. I'm, we're trying to shoot a documentary about this world. Okay. And that's why we went there. And and uh, and it was it kind of lived up to the billing. Have you ever seen? Did you see that documentary Fire Island, like the fire? I Island know about it. I haven't seen it about. Though. It's a, it's a story of... about uh, a big thing this guy organizes, and it all goes Oh, Fire wrong. Festival. Fire Festival, yes. Yeah, no. Fire, Fire Island is different. Fire Festival, yes. And there is a documentary about Fire Island. Yeah, that... But this is a Fire Festival, and there are two <laughs> you documentaries. You've seen that one. You have two documentaries. Yeah, yeah. And everyone's <laughs> really upset. Yeah, everyone's, everyone's well, mad. Well, Bubba Fest was kind of like that, but everyone was still happy. <laughs> so it was the opposite of it Fire was a, Fest. It was a bit of a show. Can I say that? Sorry. I... You cannot. No. You cannot, no. but you did, so what are you going to do? Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but, but listen, you should ch go to Bubba Fest next year. It's, it's worth it. I mean, Chuck Norris was there. What? Chuck Norris was there. Chuck I Norris was at Bubba Fest? I know. And, 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 and Doc the Bounty Hunter. <laughs> Doc the Bounty Hunter? I know. And you. And me. Wow. I know. Did you interact with Dog or Chuck? I, they were, like, separate. You couldn't... You, they, it wasn't quite accessible to me. Uh -huh. uh, I wasn't allowed there. But, but what was interesting, because I'm from <laughs> Europe, and, of course, I know Chuck Norris. Uh-huh. But the first time I came to... You to, know him personally, or you know who no, he is? I know, no, I know of him. I see. But the first okay. time I came to the U.S. was after he did his last show. So when I saw he was, like... The main draw, I thought, well, I mean, really? It was packed. Oh, yeah. I mean, well, it's because he did Walker, Texas Ranger, but he also had movies before that. You no, know, I know, but oh. still 30 years ago. Right? No, we don't forget. I mean, and by the way, it's not so like what I'm saying a is, lot I, of celebrities I could, I could coming to do this for a long time. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Here in the United States, we, you know, there will be a group of people waiting at a Hilton and Burbank to see you for <laughs> many years to come. <laughs> Many God. years to come. Thank God. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, no. you'll be you'll be the Kingslayer when you're 95 years old. <laughs> <laughs> and th there are worse things, for there sure. There are worse things. Absolutely. So yeah. you want to make a documentary about these things. Yeah. No, I yeah. just, I find it, there's something really fascinating about it. On, you have so many people go there. Because first, when I got to, went to those things, I thought, this is a weird world. A lot of, you know, crazy people. Do you and not have that in Denmark? Is that not no, something that but, goes No, but on? the thing is, over the last 10 years, it's, it's, it's become a global phenomenon. It's, it's, right. it's massive. Yes. And it's also, so it's also attracting... You know, there's a purity in, in fandom, right? But then, of course, that attracts a lot of people who want to monetize it. Because right. you got to make some money. Sure. So you have this whole thing of people just having so much fun, and then behind the scenes, 
it's a little sketchy. I see. In other words, Chuck Norris hated being there, is what you're telling me. He, he cleaned up. He hates his fans. He loves his fans. <laughs> You, wow. So, so did you have something like that when you were a kid that you were obsessed with in that same way that people become obsessed with these no, shows? No, I didn't. Did you? Nothing. Yeah, a lot of things. What? Uh, masturbation. <laughs> yeah, no, was I a had big that. one. I had we didn't too. have a convention. I, I just you did on your I own. kept to myself. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you kind of. Yeah. yeah. No, you... I love baseball and uh, comic books and. Uh, you yeah. know, yeah, all sorts of stuff like that. Well, I, yeah. oh, no, I, I did all that, yeah, sports, yeah, no, of course. But that thing about having one person that you just dedicate... I, I mean, I spoke to a woman yesterday who was a fan of, of Martin Sheen and who sent a letter to him, and, and she, he's, he was the reason that she's now in Hollywood. And, like, it was a whole story, like, one of those stories where, oh, he sent her a letter back, Clearly, it wasn't him, and then she finds out later it was him, and they, I mean, it was a beautiful story. Really? Did yeah. it end with a restraining been? order? Or because it sounds... <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like Martin should be alerted. I know. <laughs> His security team might want to know about this. All right, we're going to take a break. When we come okay. back, you're nominated for an Emmy. We'll talk about oh, that. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, go ahead. No, what? no, I have a friend of mine called me uh, from England. He was like my best friend, Joe. He says, oh, I just read the paper in The Guardian. They have this amazing thing. It's about all the nominees. Who will win? Who should win? And yeah. I found your category. It said, who will win? Peter Dinklage. Who should win? It's not you. You don't stand a chance. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Joe should not be your friend anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Nicola Costa-Waldo is here. We'll be right back. Neil <laughs> Bonneville and Marin Morris are on the way. Nicola Costa-Waldo is here. You will be seeing your castmates this weekend. Yes. For, have you seen them? You haven't seen them for no, a while? No, I haven't seen them since the premiere in, in, in May, was it? Yes, yeah. Oh, the po yeah, the finale, rather. Yeah. yeah, so you guys, are you bringing them all? Is everyone coming together? I, I think most of us are coming, yeah. And then, you know, I've, I've only... We have, like, this little WhatsApp group that has suddenly sprung to life again. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's fun. So yeah. everybody who's on the show is on it. Yeah. Who posts the most? Who's I mean, I think the most. most. Now, suddenly, there might be someone sitting there, what, WhatsApp group? Yeah, yeah, right, you're right. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, but no, Alfie. Alfie Allen, he posts, he, he, he does whole songs. He and... played Theon. Oh, he does. He yeah. does songs. Yeah. For everyone? Yeah. And people are excited they, they, about it? They love it, yeah. yeah they love we, it. We, yeah. Yeah. And he, but who's the most, who uses the most emojis in the uh, WhatsApp? Most book? emojis? Oh, uh, uh, Gwen. Gwendolyn Christie. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah, she's, she's an emoji fan. And then Lena as well. And Lena as well. Yeah. Wow. Wait, your two ladies are really? big emoji know, people. Yeah. yeah. So and, uh, Peter, he will very rarely, but there'll just be a thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I'm still here, yeah, I'm guys, still here. but I have no interest in continuing. <laughs> You're nominated against Peter. Yes. Uh, who else is in your category? You said uh, uh, Alfie is? Alfie. And, you, uh, Alfie and Peter. Yes. yes. And, and um, Giancarlo. Giancarlo Esposito, Esposito from uh, Better Call Saul. Better Call Saul. Uh -huh. And, um, um, um... You don't have to know them all. It's not like you're... <laughs> it's not like you're gonna play tennis against them or something. You're like, oh, I was <laughs> looking for some, like, like, where's that board where you wrote it down for me so I wouldn't come across as a complete <laughs> fool? A, yeah, I think it's worse if you automatically know everyone that's in your category. I know. We just renamed this category the Peter Dinklage category. Yeah, yeah. You know? it's, it's, it's that simple. Yeah, he is a great actor, He's though. Amazing. He couldn't be too upset, but he did win last year. Yes. And so maybe now people will say, all right, well, we'll spread it around a little bit. Will you have a speech prepared? Uh, no, no. You will not? No. Uh-huh. Why not? Well, okay. well, I'm not going to win it. <laughs> <laughs> so let's say you... Let's say That's you really, really lazy. I'm not going to win it. Let's so. say your stupid friend Joe hadn't sent you that article, yeah. and you really felt like, okay, I might win it. shot, yeah. Would you have a speech ready, or do you feel it's bad luck? I, 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 maybe it's bad luck, right? Do you have a speech ready for these things? Never. Well, I always know I'm not going to win, and so I never have well, anything... Well, yeah. that's exactly how I feel. Yeah, all right. Well, I didn't know. You know, I'm just looking into just it. Just two losers here. <laughs> 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 it's okay. We're just joking. Um, well, it's good to see you. Uh, I'll see you at the Emmys on Sunday yes. night. Good luck. Thank Maybe you. prepare a couple of things just in case. I will. Write a couple names on the hand. Jimmy? <laughs> the hand. Yes. Although... I guess Peter Dinklage is the hand. Yeah, I know. So, all right. <laughs> uh, Game of Thrones is uh, still on HBO. Uh, if you want to watch it, Nikolai Costa Waldo, everybody will be right back with you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. I hope you enjoyed that video. Hit subscribe, and all your dreams will come true, assuming your dreams are to watch more YouTube videos.